Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Hot Noobs and real quick, I do apologize. I got a really bad sore throat. I was truly ill over over the, uh, the past couple days. I <clears throat> don't know if it's strep throat or not. My throat's real, pretty sore. Um, it's good now. I mean, it's better than it was. I had a really high fever and all that. I posted it on Twitter, said I had to go to work. I went to work with a 102 degree fever yesterday. It's not ideal, but you know, it's Christmas time and the babies need fucking presents, damn it. So, uh, I want to do something a little different, man. Now, let me know if you guys dig this or not, but I want to give you uh, what was going on in my mind when I was playing this. Uh, basically, what it is is the beginning of a search and destroy gameplay, um, and it quickly got out of control. I was playing solo, and since I started late, I joined in late on the rush. I didn't make my normal rush, so I had to slow it down a little bit. Plus, I didn't know my teammates really well, so that's pretty much... Um, when I was in my situation and then it turns into a 1v4 situation really quick and it's funny because you hear my reaction in the video like I look at the uh, I look and see how many people is left alive and it's me versus uh, me and my teammate versus five and I'm like fuck and you hear me say it so it's pretty funny so I'm gonna ahead and play that for you guys right now and as you can see I haven't spawned in yet so usually if I spawned already I would already make that push straight down mid street I'd have chucked a nade over there right there but I already know it's too late I don't even know why I threw it <clears throat> once I realized what was going on I knew I couldn't make this push so I knew I had to sit back and wait I was like there's no way I'm gonna run out there there's too many open lanes I cannot make this push I hear bombs down so I figure where bombs down there's probably gonna be an enemy and I was right for some reason man it's kind of like uh, it, it's an attraction once the bomb goes down somebody notice that they kind of push and maybe he was trying to peek or something like that It was unfortunate for him. It just didn't work out and God Right there you hear me say god damn because I see it's about to be bad news and we got the bunker to fuck down So well my teammate pushing right there. I know he's got front door, right? I said, okay, he's got front door. I need to worry about side once I see he drops I'm, Okay, I gotta push it Hopefully this guy's pushed me is what I'm thinking in my head. Maybe he pushes, maybe he doesn't. I got really lucky there and he pushed. Unfortunately, I'm not using the silenced weapon, so I got to really play fucking strategic. I got to keep moving. As you guys see right there, that was my Claymore telling me what was going on. I was being aware of my surroundings. My Claymore went off. It didn't kill him. I turned around immediately and I just knew he was going to be on me. I knew he was rushing me and I panicked like the life out of him. Um, something called a panic knife, but I actually, that's what my plans were to do. That if I turn around, he's behind me, I'm knifing him. If I turn around, he's not behind me, then I was going to slowly crouch around the corner and have my uh, sights aimed down and pick up this kill. Now right here, I'm peeking. I got one guy on radar, but I don't have the other guy on radar. Now he could be anywhere. He could be sniping anywhere, so I really can't let my head be seen. That's why I'm squatting down. Plus, I don't want my footsteps to be heard. And right there, unfortunately, this guy made a crucial mistake. Now with this kill right here, I know the guy knows where I'm at. Well, obviously they weren't speaking to each other because they didn't let him know where bomb was. You know, nobody told him bombs down. Maybe the guy that got killed that was with him. In the, it, maybe if he was in a party with him, uh, since he got killed, he wasn't able, able to tell anybody where bomb was down. I know I have to plan, right? I have to plan. But right here is where the guy made a mistake. As you see right there, he shoots a noob tube. He was anticipating me be the other side, I, and he shoots it again. I was like, what the fuck is this kid doing? And I was able to get that easy kill alongside the airstrike. So that's pretty much what goes on in my head. That was going on in my head at the time. When you got a 1v4 situation in Search and Destroy, uh, you, your heart rate is like no other. Uh, Search and Destroy is one of the best game modes I've ever played, especially on Call of Duty 4. As I said it before, I played 40 plus days on this game uh, when it first uh, released. And I had probably 95% of those 40 plus days played in Search and Destroy. I know Search and Destroy really well. Uh, I know these maps really well in Search and Destroy. Um, you know, some people might call me a noob to send the other for running around with Claymores. It is what it is. My job is to make sure we win the game. Uh, I'm addicted to fucking plant bombs. But if you guys want to see more stuff like this, let me know. Write in the comment section below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. I can't scream, guys. I use my outro. I usually scream. But it's 2 o'clock in the morning here. But I feel like I want to put this video out for you guys before I went to bed. Let me know what you guys think. Did you dig it? Did you not? I appreciate your support as always. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces!
can't fucking even fix my throat to do that shit, man. 